What's happening folks and welcome to another episode of Glory in Paradise with Monaco. Don't forget if you're enjoying this series hit the like button down below. It really does help the channel out massively and subscribe if you are new as well. And don't forget check out the Twitch channel down below as well. We're live every Friday, Saturday and Tuesday. So as you can see we're on the page today of Noah. Because come Noah, I'm not sure how I'm going to pronounce the second name. I'm just go by Noah because Noah can say that correctly. Um, because he's now in the first team. Um, he's not going to play every game, but he's going to play selective matches and come off the bench in games a bit when it's basically nailed down. I want to get this guy in the team as quick as I possibly can because he's already got decent stats already for a 16-year-old player. And I think he's going to be fantastic for his long term. It'd be great to get a first-team player in that role. We do play a centre midfield role. Um, well, DM is in that. But I have a question, guys, before we go any further. I'm wanting to get this guy more natural in his CM position. Now, at the moment... I'm currently working on midfielder central and boring midfielder. Is that the wing to do? Is there another way, or is it a bit of that and combination of training him, training him in that role, and also, um, you know, playing him there a bit more as well? I just wondered what your thoughts on that because I've struggled to get players this year to be more natural in areas that they're already sort of. Okay, in you know, it could get it could get better. Let's do your thoughts on that. Obviously, you can see here uh, position awkwardness is awkward currently. Um, but yeah, I just want to do your thoughts. Is there anything extra I can do to kind of at least maybe help him out and maybe make him because I want him more natural in that in that CM role because right now he's currently what's his current he's currently yeah I want to be at least like yellowy green if you want, if you want a better word. So yeah. We've got things as a camera. Mixed fortunes in them. Let's take a look. So we beat Ren 1-0. Um, dominated the game. The position was position really good. Uh, Dembele got the only mod goal for us. Really good, a really good goal as well. Fire put in the middle ball, middle of the net and just fired it in. Nice to finally break out a two-game streak without scoring a goal. And one nil against Ren. Nothing amazing, but just nice to get the win on, on the board. Had a break for, obviously, mid-season break. And we came back against in the French Cup and we dominated. I mean, match changed this, as you can see. And the Belly got one. Issa Osman got two. And Mani Amini got one. Univar got one. And Pellegri got one as well. And it was just a great result for us, really. They got, they, we can see the goal, but generally speaking, it was nice to, to dominate and just get the feel good factor of goals back into the team. Continued. Um, a 3-0 victory against Nîmes. Um, Riguez, Benedetti and Depay with the goals in this game in the first half to blitz the team. And again, higher position stat, which is what I'm going for now to try and, try and hold the ball a bit better. Because I don't think the crossing is really working. Um, I don't think it really works on the game. Um, it's not in the way I would like it to see it work. I think a lot of times it's just firing into people's bodies and I want early crosses in the box. It doesn't really work, so I'm going to try a different method and see if this works. It works for, it works for Ajax, so hopefully it works for Monaco in this series. Um, so yeah, 3-0 over Neem and yeah, another clean sheet. Struggled in this game against uh, New York. Um, we again made a lot of changes to the lineup, not as many as before, but we made a few changes. Um, and we won two. No, Pelega got two goals. Nice to see as well. But yeah, we're just going to struggle to really create anything in this game. But uh, you know, the, you can't score four goals every game, can you? It'd be nice to have done that. But two no victory, I'll take it. Away, our first defeat in what feels like a very long time. Um, we lost to the basically two set pieces, two free kicks from oh, each side of the pitch, and the basically they were a carbon copy of each other. And yeah, we conceded two goals, which is very disappointing for us. Um, but you know, that's the way it goes. We did better in the second half, but yeah, I mean, count in every game, but just knowing it was two set pieces that was exactly the same, no one learned a lesson from that. So, Lita wise, we are currently, what is it, six points behind PSG. We're currently um, six points clear of L Leon. So, we're right smack down, down in the middle of where I think we realistically like should be at this point. Last year was just an amazing run we went on to win the league. But, in my one thing that makes me feel a lot better about this whole thing is they're unbeaten the, they're unbeaten the PSG. So, there's not been many chances to catch them up anyway. Um, so if they're unbeaten then obviously they're having a great season so it's one of those things isn't it um, but the main thing is we, we're going to finish top four that's the main thing we're focusing on and hopefully we can maybe uh, capitalise on maybe some errors maybe later on in the season from PSG so today's game guys is going to be actually Leon because we've got through the French Cup games and I thought it would be a cool game to do would be Leon because they're a big side and if it was any other side I'd have probably not done the game but for Leon at home 
we'll do it next. And next episode is going to be a really fun one. We're going to do the PSG and also the Stuttgart games at home in the league. Now, obviously, there's a game between that off camera, but I want to try that out and see how it how I feel about it. I think it would help my freshness on the recording because obviously I'll do, I'll do the episode in two parts. Obviously, PSG and then Stuttgart. So we're going to try it out. It's just Keep our options open for that future live comms. And then after that, we'll see how things go from there. Depends what happens in Stuttgart game and what have you. If it's comfortable, and with, you know, we'll go from there. So, Leon at home in the... Oh, sorry, away in the French Cup. Um, uh, what round? We are? 11th round. So, looking at the line for today's team. Um, yeah, I'm just thinking... Vance Plimaker support, maybe? Yeah. I and mean, obviously, with limited options, we can do on the bench anyway. So... Makes the job a bit easier for me. Um, uh, Aguilar's out for how long is he out for? We've got a lot of injuries, actually, um, during the break. I don't know whether that was just coincidence or there's a thing we could, you know, that was building up I didn't realise. But, yeah, it was very weird. That it was like for a week or so. We got a lot of injuries, it felt like, in a few days. So let's submit the team here and let's see if we can get um, three, po three points through the next round. If we win this game, of course, it's one big team out of the way in a competition. And this guy is a nightmare to deal with so I'm just gonna I'm just gonna um I expect to win today. I'm just gonna try and mark this guy out the game as quick as I possibly can. Um I just don't know if that's gonna be the if it's gonna be the right I right idea. We'll keep the we'll keep on in the loft and I'll keep an eye on it. But I wanna mark him specifically because he causes so many problems this game we played against we we dominated this game last time or oh, in the league of course. Uh just the one bit of quality from him causes the problem. So hopefully today we can um get back on back on form after the defeat against Bordeaux. Hopefully. Roberto. Romero, Roberto. Get the ball forward. There we go. And Rick's on the right hand side. He's got space to run into here. He's got a lot of space to run into here. And he's been cleared by um, Leon unfortunately. Again two negative passes and then we'll put a shot pass but try something like that occasionally. There we go. Get some great little turn of pace there. In the Pence area Good start again here against Leon. Um, again, I, again, I want to play short passes. I get that, but occasionally want to try and get the ball wide a bit for quicker if, if the opportunity presents itself. Rodriguez, pass the ball to somebody now. Do you go lose it again? First line passes. Romero, a bit of space, and that's a free kick. I think it is. Who's going to take it? Though? I think it should be Hamez. It is Hamez Rodriguez. Can he find a, a oh, long way? Long, long, long way out now. Straight into the wall, unfortunately, and that's going to go for a throw in. Gelson down the right hand side. On the box, cleared to pie off the post, and again it's saved. Once again, it's just domination against P um, against Leon. We can't find that goal. Connor kick curls the penalty area. Bring it is, oh, again, we've all anticipated, we've all anticipated a loose ball, and you got to go across to him. Oh no, don't no no, they don't deserve anything. It's once again, I don't know what it's about Leon, but they just seem defensively to be very solid. Maybe to, I, I don't want to change tactic though because I feel like if I start, if I start doing that, it gets away from what we're trying to do, and it's. Apparently working. We just need to be more creative. Thank you very much, Rodriguez. Five post cross. And it's still not going in. It It's a curse against Leon at the moment. It really is, it feels like. And then what we do, he just finds a Leon player in the defense area. Rodriguez kills it in. And again, I need to right, I need to change this corner kick tactic because I need to just do something here. Um, when, we're, when we're attacking, um, I'm just going to just... I'm just going to um, stay back. But I want to move him there, though. Right, I'll just put him there for now. I just want him there to stop this kind of thing happening. Are you good to go across to him, mate? Get the ball off if you can. Torre over the bar. But yeah, I don't... The one thing about this tactic I don't think of the game I don't like is the fact I can't just put anyone, anyone where, where I want to put them. I want to put them in specific positions on those tactics. I don't understand why I can't do that. It's frustrating, really, but domination just to find that goal. Again, we're too deep here. Look at the throwing they've got, and look at the time they've got here. Why are we not pressing up the pitch? And they lost me completely done there by uh, Magikas again. And then again here, and they're going to score in a minute. They really are. We need to get a grip here. Half time, we're dominating this game. They just can't create anything. And Bengen is offering nothing up front. Not once have I seen him get hold of the ball and do anything. Um, I don't know whether we need to change tactic and go for more direct passing. Work it into, but I don't know if that's going to be a contradiction, really. I'm going to try it, but it just it feels like just every time we get forward, we just have a, we just have a mental block what to do against Leon. Just pass the ball in the penalty area, dude. That's a great pass. Just Leon just offered nothing in this game, 
and the mate and the program, it feels very much like, like, like last time. Corner kick. Kern by Rodriguez. Lindelof. And taking my head off, guys, he's offering nothing all game. He's, oh, he's, he's always rating out there on the, on the pitch and taking the guy off. And the Pirates have nothing even. I'm going to take the power off as well. But this team against, this team against um, Leon just cannot seem to create anything. I do not understand why. Gelson. Penalty. <sighs> it's just been one way traffic about 90% of this game. And Rodriguez may be able to put us ahead here with this penalty. Come on, mate. Pick a corner, please. Rodriguez steps up. This is a joke. <laughs> Literally, it's like the game's got a code that Leon Cart's going to see against me. Because nothing's working. Oh, my God, the keeper. I can't believe this. This is insane. How are we not scored here? He's just got to put the ball back in the net there, surely. Ossiman. I'm signing Lopez as the goalkeeper next summer. I really am. I'm going to see He's just a blinder today. So everyone's knackered now. And I've got one sub left to make. And I can't take a right back off because I've got the right back to put on there. I don't like the setting. I've got no setting options either. So I'm going to bring Dembele on the right hand side. For Dembele on the right hand side. Just to see if that makes a difference with the fresh pace on that side. See if that helps us out. But it's just... I think next time, next time we get, get, play against Leon, I'm going to literally every single day up to game work on conversion and creation because it's, it's definitely an issue against this team. Rodriguez. Roberio. Blocked. Rodriguez. Romero. Again, try and play a pass before you get the ball so you know where you're going to play it. Henrix. Beats, oh, he's outside. A lot of times, it's, it's get the ball and standing still with it. That's the problem. Bizarro. Dembele. Get the ball to the fullback. He's got the space. First time cross, if you can. In the box. Ossiman! Literally, one-way traffic. If this is how we play every single game, I'm happy. It's just need to just find the one, bas one, one last thing to change things. Jordan Napolitaria, corner kick. If 90% of the time we play like this, we'll beat most teams in the league every single time. Just today, Lince Leon, they've got a hoodoo against us. Ball in the box. Cleared. Back to Dembele. I don't know why he didn't put him on the ball in the box again, mate. That was clearly a good opportunity to do so. Dembele. Come on, good ball in the box, neither dear. That's not good enough. Lopez catches it. I'm signing Lopez next season. <laughs> I've changed to hit early crosses now. So just try and get the ball in the box quicker. Just try something different. George. In the box. Oh, Simen! We deserve it! Leon nil. Monaco won. Victor Osimen gets the goal. We deserve. Football has won this game so far. Things stand. Great ball in the box from George. Not an early cross, was it? Osimen gets there first with a volley. Make sure it's in the back of the net. Finally, the, the pressure is told. They don't. They can't say it's not been coming. We deserve that. 1-0 up, and that might be the winner. That might be the winner. Dembele. Ribeiro. Romero. Henriks. Romero. Lindelof. Just don't do anything stupid now, boys. He's in the penalty area. Of course, for Dembele! And it could have easily been 2-0. I think there's no doubt about it. we deserve this win. There we go. We get the win by one goal to nil in extra time. But this is the problem we have. We need to find a way of being consistently good in front of goal. It's all right scoring three in a couple of games and not scoring again. We need to find a way and what it is about this team. I personally think it's the, it's Benyeda is on the way out. Um, I don't think he's good enough um, consistently anymore. You look at his stats and no pace, no strength. I think that's... An, he's got 18 goals this year, but I think he's slowly dropping massively. So we need to look at that. I think it may be that we start putting Osman up front because he's got that strength and pace and the finishing ain't bad either. So I think we start moving him into the team more and we look for another striker, maybe. But obviously we've got Pellegrini and William Grubles. But I think maybe I need to loan one of those out for more first-team football. Or we could just play Osman and leg we can be back up and we just we're going to be build up again I think being at this time it, there's too many games he's, he's off it um, for me and I'm going to actually play uh, Austin Man going forward because I think that strength pace and heading are definitely what we need to play more of so yeah um, so next episode like I said it's going to be a double live com which could be fun um, we've got games against um, oh well, hang on we've got a quarter final there when's the quarter final draw because that might indicate, that might dictate what we go with next episode. When's the quarterfinal draw? Right, so we'll continue this and come back to you for the draw and see what we get. It might affect the live comms. 
Right, guys, quite a final draws here. Who could we get? Looking at that, unless it's Leo, it ain't going to change my life comp plans. So look who we get. I'll take either of those, please. Oh, never mind. Yep, yeah, I'll take either of those. Yeah, right, okay, that's not going to change the life comms then, because that's not going to be a worthwhile game to show. Uh, compared to what we've got, um, compared to that. So next episode, we're going to do PSG and Stuttgart together. So there'll be two games off camera, then a live com, then in the episode, two more games off camera, then another live com. So we're going to see how that how that works out for us. Just want to try it and see if you guys dig it and that kind of thing. It also gives you more scope to do different live comms when we need to. Thank you, Yosemen. You are a god. Thank you. Um, thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you for that goal. I was losing my mind there. But generally speaking, I like the style of play. I just don't know if it's the strikers or it's just the coaching and that kind of thing. Your thoughts down below on all things in this episode today. The training on um, Carpen, on Noah is something I really want to get an answer to. Your thoughts on that. I will see you next time, guys. I hope you enjoyed the episode. If you have liked it, and I hope you have, hit the like button down below. Really helps the channel out. Subscribe if you're new. There might be daily uploads in this series. I don't know yet. I'm gonna. I'm, I'm considering it. I am considering it because, it, like, I, like I said before, it's all about for me. If I'm uploading it daily, I'm on the save more, and I'm more on the flow of it, and it means, and it's more relevant, and you guys get it so quicker, and we get season quicker, and all that kind of stuff. So I will see you next time. Thank you so much for watching. Bye bye. Mm -hmm.